Well, the Super Bowl is just around the corner, and the media hype is already underway. And for the second year in a row, Marshawn Lynch will be one of the most valuable players on the field. But as ESPN's Adam Schefter reported, the NFL just can't seem to figure out how to handle Lynch off the field. The league is fed up with Lynch's antics, or so they say. Now, the league fined Lynch 20 grand for what they called an obscene gesture in the NFC Championship game. But as Deadspin first pointed out, the NFL also sold that very same picture on NFLshop.com. The picture was sold out almost immediately, each going for $149.95. You can have your very own. Now, right after the game, Lynch refused to speak to reporters again. Nothing new here. We've seen this before. The guy just doesn't like to talk to the TV cameras. Or so he says. The NFL stuck to its guns, and they fined him again for not talking. Now, this time, the cost could be over $50,000. The NFL's still figuring that out, and the circus goes on. Now, the league office threatened Lynch if he didn't talk to the media during Super Bowl week, they would continue to fine him increasing amounts for each time that he refused to talk. So for all their efforts, this is what they got in return. Hey, I'm just here so I don't get fined. So y'all can sit here and ask me all the questions y'all want to. I'm going to answer with the same answer, so y'all can shoot <laughs> if y'all please. I'm here so I won't get fined. <laughs> now Lynch clearly showing blatant disregard for those corporate suits in the league office. And yes, reporters willingly played along with his game, asking him nearly 30 creative or not so creative questions, all trying to unsuccessfully to bait him into some other kind of answer. But reporters aren't the only ones getting played here. You see, there's really one of two things happening. Either those stuffy suits in New York really are peeved about Lynch's stubborn silence and his obscene gestures, or perhaps their ridiculous fines are just fueling the fire. Really, Lynch should actually thank the NFL for turning this into such a big deal, because Hey, he actually got his own big deal because of it. Lynch sat down with Skittles and filmed a spoof press conference where he actually opened up and answered all the silly questions from the reporters. Lynch gladly cashed that check from Skittles, and you can guarantee it's much higher than any of his fines from the NFL. Now, there's plenty of gold at the end of that rainbow. This whole game is nothing more than a sideshow spectacle, and we've seen it before in sports. A PR stunt, really. The NFL and Marshawn Lynch are both co-conspirators, co-creators, Whatever you want to call it, however you want to label it, but don't kid yourself. Both are profiting from it, and they're both very glad to keep playing this game as long as reporters keep asking and you keep watching.